My name is Rebecca Davenport. I am from Caldwell, New Jersey, and I did my undergraduate in Los Angeles, California. My master's thesis is focusing specifically on avian communities in these reclaimed surface mines. And so for my research, we will be looking at the effects of different reclamation approaches on avian communities. So we're currently standing in the Mauer Tract. This area was primarily used for logging, then used for surface mining for coal. So the area that we're now in has been reclaimed by the forestry reclamation approach um, to attempt to restore the lands to their previous state prior to the logging and mining here. So part of the restoration that we've been implementing in the Monongahela National Forest is these wetlands that have been created throughout the Mauer Tract and other regions of the forest. And these wetlands are very important ecosystems for a range of biodiversity, which is why we're conducting a lot of our research sampling around wetlands. And so for example, wetlands provide essential habitat for a range of amphibian species, as well as avian communities, bats, and other mammals. My name is Victoria Burgess, and I'm a natural resources and environmental science major at the University of Kentucky. And I'm from Hebron, Kentucky, which is right outside Cincinnati. I'm here this summer because part of the NRES program is required to do some type of research or internship opportunity. And so I'm doing mine this summer with Dr. Stephen Price, researching wildlife on this summer track. So originally this area that we're standing in was a high elevation red spruce forest ecosystem, but due to extensive logging and surface mining for coal in this region, much of the red spruce forest was devastated from those disturbances. So now this reclamation that we're implementing in this area is an attempt to restore the red spruce forest by planting native red spruce trees among other hardwood species. So we're finding a pretty good variety of amphibians out in these wetlands. We've found eastern newts, uh, redback salamanders, northern two-line salamanders, lots of wood frog tadpoles, green frogs, and some other amphibians as well. It has been absolutely spectacular to conduct field work and research in this area of West Virginia um, over the summer. I find this is one of the most peaceful national forests I've, I've ever visited. There aren't too many visitors and a lot of our sites tend to be more remote areas that I expect many people don't get the chance to visit. So it feels really special to, to be able to witness the species that we've observed during our surveys and see these created wetlands across the forest. And it's quite remarkable to see what uh, the Forest Service has accomplished and green forest work has accomplished in creating these restored areas across the Monongahela.